The next thing that we are going to create is the goggles part. With the goggles, you're going to want to take your gray color. In this case, I'm using Simply Soft Gray Heather. You're going to create your slip knot. We're using the same crochet hook, size H. Didn't change it. Okay, go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your hook and you're going to put two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, insert your hook. I like to put two crochet loops on the top, one on the bottom. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So there's one. One more in that same spot. Pull through, yarn over, pull through. So there's your increase. You're going to put a single crochet in the next two spaces. So one and one, and then increase in the last. One, two, chain one, turn your work, and you're going to single crochet in each space. There should be six spaces. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn. And this you're going to increase or put two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next four, and then increase or put two single crochets in the last. So two single crochets in the first space, one, two, single crochet in the next four, one, two, three, Four, and two in the last. One, two, chain one, and turn. Okay, we have, we are now on row four. Row four through row eight, it's just single crocheting in each. Okay, so row four. One, two, three, chain one, turn. Row nine is a single crochet decrease and then single crochet in four spaces and then end with a single crochet decrease. So decrease in the first two. Single crochet in the next four, three, four, and decrease in the last two. Chain one and turn. You're going to, this is row 10, so single crochet in each space, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn. Row 11 is a decrease and then we're going to single crochet in the next four. So decrease, 
the first two spaces and then one, two, three, four, chain one and turn. Row 12 is single crochet in each. One, two, three, four, five, chain one. Row 13, we're going to do two single crochets in the first and then four single crochets. So one, two in the first space and then one, two, three, and four, chain one, row 14, single crochet in each, one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, turn, row 15, we're going to increase or put two single crochets in the first and two single crochets in the last with one single crochet in the middle. So two in the first, one, two, then one in this one, 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 and one. And then the last one is two, two single crochets. One, two. Chain one, turn. Row 16 through 20 is single crochets in each space. 16, row 16 through 20. Chain one. We are now on row 21. Row 21 is a decrease in the first two, then four single crochets and a decrease in the last two. So let's decrease in the first two spaces, single crochet in the next four, one, two, three, four, and decrease in the last two. Chain one and turn. Row 22 is a single crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one, turn. Last row, row 23 is a decrease in the first two two single crochets and a decrease in the last two. So your first two spaces. Decrease, single crochet one, single crochet two, and then a decrease in the last two. And we're done. Go ahead and grab those scissors cut that off, yarn over, pull through, and tie that knot. We're now ready to crochet the border around the goggles. Go ahead and grab those two pieces of, or two strings of your Simply Soft bone color if you are following along with me. If not, follow, go ahead and grab the color that you are using for your border on your beanie. We're using the same exact color. Go ahead and create your slip knot. Great. Doesn't really matter where you start on your edge. 
I just pick a side and I will attach it to the corner. Going to slip stitch into that corner. So yarn through and then I'm going to bring it all the way through to attach it to the work. Take these two tails, push them against the work because we're going to crochet right on right over them. Chain one, single crochet in that same spot that we slip stitched into. Yarn over, yarn over and pull through the loops. There's a single crochet. There's four single crochets on the top here, so that's one. Two. Three. Four. You don't really need to count. You're just basically crocheting a border around the entire work. So just keep following it along. So I'm going to stop counting because there's really no point in it as long as you're just making sure you don't crowd your stitches, making them too much, and you don't skip anything. Okay. All right, we've reached the end. Go ahead and slip stitch this border closed. Go ahead and cut off your yarn. Yarn over and slip it through, creating your knot. And what I do is I'll go in from the back and bring it forward so that way it's a smooth edge and then I'll come in actually down into the work so like I came in the middle of the work following this look pull it through pull it through the back and now it just kind of looks just like that V which makes it invisible and then I will end up gluing this down on the back so it doesn't go anywhere so there is the border of our goggles pretty cool right now we're gonna go ahead and make the circles inside the goggles 
Okay, so, so grab your two strands if you're doing what I'm doing, or grab just that same border color. Create your slip knot. Okay, if you were to fold your goggles in half, there you go, that works better. Just fold your goggles in half. Imagine a circle. No one's two are going to be identical, but so in this row right here, where you see this double, this, these two rows, I'm going to go right in the middle. So I'm going to stick my crochet hook right there and bring it through right there. I'm going to grab the yarn and pull it through. And then I'm going to slip stitch it into that loop that was on my hook. I'm going to move this aside. And then in the very next space, let's see if I can show you. I'm going to put it through the next one over. Yarn over, through, and slip stitch again. Put it in the next space. Through. We're following that same row. Pull it through. So this is what I've done. So folding that in half, I just kind of followed the same line. I made a line. Before I get to the very end, I want to curve. I want to go diagonal. I want to. I want to keep that gray border along the outside. So I'll go back into that spot and I'll go down. It won't look like a circle circle. It'll be more of an oval. There we go. Okay, following that down. Next. It's just a bunch of slip stitches through. As you're getting close to any edges, you're going to want to turn away from the edges. You want to keep this gray border around it. So I'm going to turn now. Okay, and now I am going to reinsert my hook. And attach it to the same hole that I started with to close the loop. All right, 
So it looks a little rough in the sense that it's not quite a circle, but that's okay. You'll do some molding to it and it rounds out the edges. So some people will stop right here, but for me, I really like that 3D effect, the, the pop look, the dramatic detail on the, go the goggles. So I'm gonna show you how I make that, this layer pop, put this tail right there. I'm inserting the crochet hook underneath that stitch. It's just laying flat. I insert the hook underneath the stitch, just like that. I grab the yarn, I pull it through. and I slip stitch into that. I'm just bumping up this layer. So I'll insert the crochet hook underneath the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. The next stitch, Yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. The next stitch, go under it, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch. So just keep following that. In the last space, slip stitch underneath that. And if you look, now it has this very 3D pronounced circle, which really gets attention. It's awesome. Pretty cool. The detail, the definition, it just helps bump it up a notch. So I cut that strip off, yarn over, slip stitch it through, pull it tight. And now what I'll do with these two ends that I have, the beginning and the end, I'm going to tie them together like that. So they come closed. All right, and it just 
closes that up. Then I'll come in from the back. Right there. And I'll grab these two that are these two strings that are folding down in that general direction and I'll pull them down so that they kind of camouflage away on that side and these two that are leaning that direction I'll come in from behind from that side and I'll grab them I'll pull them through this direction. There we go. And what I'll end up doing with this side is I'll end up cutting all these extra strings and gluing them down so they don't go anywhere. But what do you think? What do you think of the 3D effect? Pretty cool, right? I like it. All right, let's do the other side. Go ahead and slip knot. All right, we're gonna fold this in half again. So we have this right here and we're gonna create our first row for our circle in between these guys, in between the second and third row from the top there. So right there. So I'm going to insert right there, go through there, pull through the yarn, slip stitch it through, pull this to the side, and I'm going to insert in the same spot that I pulled from before. So right there, oops, and next spot, slip stitch, same spot, just behind. Okay, I don't want to go all the way over, remember? I want to start turning. So, in that same spot that I came through, go down. and connect right there to close that circle. Perfect. Now let's go for the 3D effect, shall we? So putting these, that tail right between. I'm going to go underneath the first slip stitch. Slip, 
stitch right underneath it. And that is that one. Get the scissors, cut that slack. Go ahead and yarn over to create your knot. That one. Take your two strings. Tie them together. Let's do one more. So I just take them and tie that together. See how this one is kind of laying that direction, so I'll come in from underneath on the inside as close to the border as I can so that way I can just camouflage it together. Pull that through. This one's laying on the outside or towards the outside so I'll come in from a spot that's close on that side. There we go. And there are our little eye holes. And you can stretch them, mold them, form them, that goggles. Oh, doesn't it look good? I hope you like it. So on the back, we have all these extra things. So I will trim them down because we don't need all that. Okay, there we go. I just trimmed them down a little bit. So when I grab my glue, I'm just gonna, it doesn't have to be pretty because this part will be attached to the, the beanie so no one's gonna see this. But I just wanted to make sure that nothing is going to come out the front side of the beanie. That would look awful. I don't want that to happen. Okay. Make it a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, these goggles and we're going to attach it to the front 
of your beanie.